You know, I'm just going to say it. That was probably the best week in playoff football history. Four really damn close games going down to the final minute. And all of them within a score or less. And honestly, you could debate which one is the best game, depending on who you ask. Now, me personally, of all the games I watched, I'd say that the best game was the uh, Titans and the Bengals game. uh, Because it was both a... Offensive and defensive display going to the final minute. Um, But most people I know are going to say that it's probably the Bills-Chiefs game as an amazing quarterback duel, especially with 221 passing yards within the last two minutes of regulation. But now we're on to the final portion, or the second to last portion, the NFC and AFC Championship Games. It's going to be a doozy. Greetings, everyone, on The Voice of Reason. And joining me, as always, is Kanako the Squirrel. Hey. Uh, Nikki, unfortunately, can't be here today because he has company. But he gave us our picks. And, uh, yeah, so, Kana, what did you think of the games? Uh, so, I only got to watch, like, one of them. Because, basically, life sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, unlike Americans, Americans, I I have to choose between. I, I I can't just sit down and watch these things, things on a big TV, anything like that. Especially when I live in a house of people who do not like watching NFL, so I have to watch it on my phone. Meaning, I have to remember that it is on. Sorry about that. <coughs> so I I only got to watch the. Uh, the 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 um Packers special team fucking oh. suck. Oh my god, yeah. That if I if I had to rank the games, that would probably be the worst game. Mm. Uh, like almost little in the offense. Aaron Rodgers probably worst playoff performance ever. Uh, no spe- like, and of course the Packers special team showing that they need a new special teams coach badly. Mm. Yeah, and, and but, like the Packers could have won if their special team showed up at all. Yeah, yeah that that block that block punt changed the game, mm. and uh, and then of course you had the almost comeback uh, the almost comeback uh, with the Rams Bucks game. It was. It was so close. Twenty seven it was twenty seven to three. They came back, but then the Rams scored because uh because Todd Bowles yeah, decided not the Yeah. Because yeah, they almost came, they oh they did come back, but then the Rams scored because Todd Bowles decided to do a a zero blitz and leaving Cooper Cup wide open. Never leave Cooper Cup wide open. No, no, never do that. And then, of course, you have the quarterback. At least not until he starts to... Not until he... At least he starts regressing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. And then, then, of course, you have the quarterback duel with uh, Josh Allen and uh, Patrick Mahomes. Uh, n- nothing more to say about, say more than that. Everyone's talking about whether the Jets... Uh, the, the Jets. Whether the Bills should have uh, squibbed the kick or not uh, to, let, to let the uh, clock run down. But overall, that's it was a great game. Tri- Sorry, say again? That, that's the thing about squib kicks. It's like, either they work perfectly fine, or otherwise something some something fucky happens, and mm-hmm. you're in trouble. Right. And then... A, and then a, one second. Oh, there we go. And then, of course, you have the... Um, and then, of course, you have the titans Bengals game, which... That was that was just great football. That was just great football all around. It, like everyone was playing great offense and defense. It was coming down to the wire. I was I was on the couch watching the um uh watch, watching the Titans drive. Well, bo- both teams I think in like the last three minutes or so. The bullshit call of uh, AJ Terrell getting that interception, which it did not. It actually it hit the ground and the and the refs didn't 
Still didn't call it. I still call bullshit on that. And then literally a couple plays later, Cincinnati get uh, gets a gets another turnover and like, oh my god, they're gonna do it. And then Evan McPherson, the hero, Kitty go meow. That they these guys these guys are the new Titans. <laughs> so so speaking of blown calls, which we've seen a ton of this season, more than we usually do. Mm-hmm. Do you think that the NFL should implement and, like, upon, not upon the, like, coach's decision, but on the referee's decision to go up into the booth and uh, say, hey, w- w- all of us are not fucking sure what happened. Give us an answer. Um, I'm not against it. Like the, the worst thing it'll do is extend the g- game a bit, and I mm-hmm. think both the players and the fans would be like, okay, if you're extending the game to make sure the right team you know, gets the right call, we don't mind. Mm-hmm. Gives us a chance to go to a, go on a bathroom break. Yeah, it's true. All right. Meantime, uh, it is now championship week. Uh uh, Nikki, Nikki did win this week. Uh, actually, yeah, did he win? I try to, re- I try to remember did, if he won or not. I know I, yeah, Nick, yeah, Nikki did win. He only, oh no, sorry, me and Nikki tied. <clears throat> yeah, we both, we both called two different games. I called Bengals and Rams. He called Bengals and Chiefs. And, and I got fucked. Yeah, he only got the Rams uh, this week. Hey. Hey, at least I got the Rams right. Yeah. All right. Anyway, now it's time for the championship matches. Uh, this is this one's going to be a doozy. Uh, one of them, uh, I don't think these uh, players have have gone up against each other. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get the schedule up just to make sure we have the right games. Spell championship. Ah, cannot spell championship games. There we go. All right. Okay, both are on Sunday and normal times three o'clock, three o'clock and three o'clock and six thirty. So first game is going to be Bengals Chiefs. Bengals are the hot shot up and comer. Chiefs are getting their stride back. Uh, um, Kitty, uh, like I think I'm gonna say Kitty goes ow, not Kitty goes meow. Yeah. Kitty goes ow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. I want to join the the Bengals bandwagon at this point. I know. Yeah, it's just very late for me. I know. That's okay. But but it is also the Chiefs, right? In a conference final. Hmm. I don't feel like breaking the cut. Like it's the Chiefs in a conference final. Yeah. I There's. Don't... Mm-hmm. No, no. I was just saying, like, this is. I think this is what their fourth year in a row that they made it to the conference finals. Because they, yeah, it's... yeah, because they um, lost. To, yeah, they lost to the Pat- Patriots, made it to the Super Bowl, uh, lost in the Super Bowl. Now this is their fourth one. Mm-hmm. But by the way, this game for me is it six in the morning. Yeah, th- mm-hmm. yeah, and three and three o'clock for myself. Yep. So, uh, Nikki... it's, it's, it's 6 a.m. on a Monday. <laughs> anyway, uh, Nikki is still on the Kitty Goes Me Out bandwagon. Uh, I would, I would too, but, uh, maybe if this was a different team, maybe it, it may, honestly, maybe if the Bills made it, it could go either way, but I'm taking the Chiefs. As, as am I. Alrighty, so we're all on board with the Chiefs. Alright, and the primetime game, 6.30. 40, the rubber match. Which, oh, actually, no, not technically rubber match. But like, the revenge game, hopefully, for the 49ers, uh, 49ers and Rams. Can the Rams beat the 49ers in the conference championship? 
it's not really if the Rams can beat a team, it's can they avoid losing to the team that kind of fluked their way into the conference finals. Uh, yeah, in, in a way, they're the the Bengals and Chief, uh, Bengals and Forty Nine ers are kind of in, kind of in the same position. Like they wouldn't expect this, you wouldn't expect them to get this far, and yet mm. and yet they're still here. So so the Bengals had to beat the Raiders, which we kind of most of us assumed they would, but I felt like it was going to be a closer game, and it would have like tipped over to the Raiders. Mm -hmm. And then there's the 49ers and (laughs) uh, how about them fucking Cowboys? Cowboys Cowboys choked and then then, uh, uh, Green, Green Green Bay took a dump in their own stadium. Yeah. And then the Titans and the yeah, that that game was just really good and close. Yeah. Um well this game, uh Ram like honestly, the Rams I feel are more in win now mode than the 49ers. But the the Rams are in win now mode and are the better all round team. Of course. Like so it got to say like they like if they lose here the 49ers are going to be playing in their stadium come the su- in the Super Bowl and they're not going to be there mm. so and, and it's funny cuz of these matchups but that we could possibly see uh, only one, only one of them we have not seen at all in in, in the championship games, because, or it, or it's rather we the 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 matchups we want to see, uh, in, in the championship games, because Bengals 49ers, it's a, a rematch of uh two two prior Super Bowls, Chiefs for um Chiefs 49ers uh two Super Bowls ago, Chiefs Rams the Super Bowl we should have had for 53. And then you have Bengals Rams, which is just an, which is the odd one out, or rather, it, uh, the super team versus uh, versus the rookie team, I guess. Um, so coming down to this, the Rams are the better team; they should win, and it's why I'm picking the Rams. Yeah, and it's uh, it's also the reason why I'm picking them. They're, they're out of the teams that are left. They are the most all round good team. Mm-hmm. They deserve to be where they are right now. They honestly deserve to make the Super Bowl. Oh, oh. there's like the only way I could say at this point if they if they were in this position, but other teams were also in it. That would be the only way I'd see them not making the Super Bowl. Yeah, because there's there's a selection of teams that if they had have had to face in this position, I wouldn't see them winning. Right. Because I okay here, here's here's an interesting uh, quandary. If the Cardinals actually showed up and they were and they were the number four seed, do you think the Ram, uh, do you think the Rams get out of the wild card round? So you're so you're saying instead of it being um, instead of it being Rams Cardinals, I you're saying it could have been um, we we could have had um, we could have had Rams have, Cowboys. No, we could have had uh, Packers uh, Packers Cardinals because they're they're the number four seed. 49ers are the six seed. We got we. We could have had uh, Packers Cardinals or 49ers Cardinals. Depending. So, I, I, no, I, I don't. I, I, I think they would have still made it through, but I don't think they would have made it through the divisional round. Okay. Because they would have uh, they would have faced a different team. They would have faced. Um, 
Yeah, they would have faced the team in the Packers 49ers game. Okay. All right. Over the Buccaneers Rams game. Mm-hmm. And I don't see him winning that game. Okay. So, because. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. I see. But, uh, yeah, that concludes the champion. That concludes the, uh, championship round. Um, we are, of course, not done. We mentioned la- uh, during the end of uh, week eighteen. Uh, sorry, not the um, yeah, end of week eighteen. We mentioned we were gonna. Uh, the following week is the NFL honors, so it is our time uh, for this week. For that week, we at the Haymakers do our NFL honors, and uh, the list is extensive. And we're each gonna go into our own details. It's gonna be fun. Come join, uh, and, t- and then next it's gonna be Super Bowl. Super Bowl. 